Hey everybody, Chris DeCop here. Welcome back. Thanks for watching and definitely thank you for all your support. What video do I have for you today? Well, it's SWAT 4 and it's that flippin' Dupree's Duplices Jewelry Mart that I foobarred a couple of days ago. So, was it a win or was it a foobar? Okay. First thing you're going to notice is that I'm wearing a different t-shirt from when I played the game. I played the game a second time and I didn't do an intro for that so I decided to do an intro which is this video. Um, yeah, so yeah, you can cheat and go all the way to the end and see if uh, it was a foobar or a win but you may be entertained with this particular uh, mission. I know I was, especially when I watched it again for the debrief that will be at the end of this video. A um, couple of mistakes that I made and um, I'm definitely, this one challenged me. It definitely, definitely did. So I hope you enjoy it. Leave your comments below. If you're new to this channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Um, what you're getting is you're getting a real police officer playing video games and giving you my perspective as a cop towards these games and tactics and the realism as well as some cool nerd geek stuff as you guys can see. Hit that bell for instant bell notifications. Thumbs up if you like the video. We're not a fan of thumbs down even though we get a few here and there. And leave your comments ladies and gentlemen. If you're new to the channel I respond to everybody's comments and uh, I really enjoy it. Join us on Discord. We have Discord discussions every day. Sometimes we have them till 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. I pop in and out of the channel. There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoy this, boys and girls, because it definitely was fun for me. 429, Adam. This is Central BCC. All right, let's try this time. Responding to CP at Broadway and East 100. Barricade hostage situation. Up to one. Okay. Looks clear. We have someone crouching down. As we saw before, we have some um, entry point problems right here because we have these little threat areas. We have that open door which goes to the stairwell. We have that doorway right there, which um, goes to the rest of the bank. And then we have this area here. Uh, so we have three potential kill points. We don't know if this is a suspect or not. Can't tell what they're holding. Obviously, we can have some suspects behind there. So I'm going to gas it at this point in time. Going back to lethal. And clear. Copy that. Nope. Open with gas. Check on it. Over there. Let's roll. Hands in the air now. Trailers need your hands up and Room get clear. down. Police, clear. get down Use now. Safe. Civilian comply. Gerard, clear. clear. Here. Suspect is suspect. Oh, oh. Suspect your weapons. down. Okay, that's what I don't like about the AI. Get out of the frickin' funnel, dude. Regroup and stand by to move. Got your back, boss. Where's the Where'd the bad guy go? Move over, boss. Wedge that. Red. Get a wedge on it. Got my hands full here. I got my eye on you, punk. Oh, a little frustrating. A little frustrating. I can't even get these guys to do what I want them to do. So go cover. Blue team, cover that. Don't like doing this myself right here. 
Probably gonna get sniped, shot in the face. What the hell was this? Shut up. You're causing me pain. Ready for evac. Talk. This is entry Keep it up. We have a dead suspect. Police Copy. on your knees. Sharp. Automatic weapons. We got some possibilities or problems there. Hands in the air. Get down. Okay, I can't get close enough to do what I need to do. All right. So our problem here is this. We have this area here, and I don't like it. I'd rather start clearing this room. So this is what we are going to do. The problem is, see guys, is we can't really close this door. So we have a problem. All right, well, I guess this is what's gonna do. Blue's gonna cover, red's gonna come with me, and we're gonna be forced to clear this way. Red team, regroup on me. At your back, sir. Okay. All right, hard corners cleared. I'm just a big proponent of, I don't know if that happens in this game where people hide behind couches, but I know they truly do. All right, we're gonna opto on this and see where we go. Hoping my guys are keeping my back safe. Okay. Oh, and if you guys notice, I actually shot my guy in the back because they got in my way. All right. So I'm going to be a fan of banging clear. Nothing's moving here. Opening clear. UCS. I got it. Let's get in there, guys. So far, so good. Moving Gerard, on. It's clear. Area clear. Okay. Ugh, another door. Okay. Well, if this makes any sense here, we know that that's the doorway that our guys are at. Which gives us that long hallway. So I love that fact. Because then I could see that long hallway. All right, so we're gonna probably wedge that door with red team or blue team. But let's see here. Yeah, see, so there's that doorway. We have this open doorway, which I don't like, but I can now view it from the other side, get that long view in. So I do have to keep them there. But I also need these guys to come over here and cover my six. Go there. Understood. Moving. In position. I don't have a wedge for that. Hold what you've got. So what Optowan can tell us though is Optowan can actually tell us what's ahead. Awesome. What just happened, guys? Come on, really? I'm stuck underneath the door? Okay, sorry about that, guys. Ooh, blood and guts! Still clear here. Those doors open, damn it. Okay. Got a couple people down. Oh, okay. Sir, it's still here. You guys need to be quiet. Okay, so if we look at this, we are here. This is that long hallway. 
we bre we came in so we got we own this we own this kind of because we still have this door here we have all this we're about to go in through here and we could have gone through here so that that closed door we so we can get that wedge back definitely would be nice and we can work our way down clearing these room clearing this and owning this then we could try this try this and then get this I still don't like the fact that the stairwell has not been covered yet but we got our guys sitting right here so if anyone does come up they're going to get them entry team to talk we've got a wounded civilian okay. copy notifying EM sorry guys I can't all right quiet Okay, blue. Blue. Fall in and stay no close. Threat. I'll take point. I'm with you. Okay, I need them to cover me. A scan for threats. We're gonna opt one. This should be our door. But you always want to be sure. And that is the door we came in through. Well, I guess we didn't wedge it. All empty. Just the way I like it. Entry team to talk. Civilian hit. In need of medical attention. Be ready. Still clear. Roger that. EMTs standing okay. by. Bad right, guys. Just like I thought there would be. That one room there. Ooh. Heavily armed bad guys. And we got a civilian there. Okay. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Chris? I think we're gonna go after this guy here. Bang it. Go in ready. Copy. On it. Suspect contact. We've got contact. Great, really? So far, so good. Continue to clear. Really? Suspect complied. Stay making secure. Here we go. Idiot. Such a freaking idiot. All right, that's enough. Regular Bad guy secured. Okay. Talk, this is entry team. Suspect cuffed and secure for transport. All right. Roger, keep it up. Let's go get this guy. Open with gas. Copy that. No threats. See if I can get this one right. Oh my gosh. Suspect spotted. Run. Go, go, go. Time to move. Hang in there. No hard feelings. Hands in the air. Get down. 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 Get Right on. Okay. All right, we have a problem. We have a suspect. I've heard it all before. Restrained suspect. To talk. Civilian ready to evacuate. Okay. Got wedge it. Trailer standing by. On it. Okay, we're gonna wedge it. Talk. This is entry team. Suspect secure and ready for evac. Sir. Uh, copy. Continue mission. Okay, we're gonna see what we got here now.
Ooh, that door is now open. But looks like we can get inside safely without having to use any bang. Which means, okay, so let's take a look at this. So it's this room here, or I'm sorry, it's this room here. So our suspect is here, he has nowhere to go. So if we come in through here, wait, are we here? No, we're here, dang it. So our suspect could be here and backtrack on us. So we just wedged this door, so that's good. So we can come in through here and flush him out. But man, that sucks, all right. Well, we know he's not gonna go through there. What took you so long? He did not come up. Get down! Hands in the air! Get me out of here. I got point. Get behind me. That's Police! Your Get down now! Don't want to turn my back to these guys, but I gotta get this guy secured. Zip him up. Got it. Okay. will be fine. They don't really know what they're doing. Secured civilian. In here like a ton of oh my gosh. Okay. I'm so scared of my life. Talk. This is entry team. Civilian is safe, secure, and ready for evac. Copy. We'll be ready for them. I really don't want to use Opta One right here. Looks like we have two people down. And that should be the end of the hallway. Oh, almost got stuck out. Okay, going back to lethal. Not what I wanted to do, but we're already here. Okay, I'm clear. That's the door we wedged. We got gun. Gun. Entry team. Bad guy. Injured suspect secure and ready for transport. Copy. Doctors and trail in on me. With you. Okay. So now what we got is. We have this room and this room, so we're here. So we can, if we go through this room, so we can actually remove that wedge and jam that wedge on this door and we can go through, we can actually just wedge one of the doors and go through. Too dangerous. Got jewelry there. Crouching. We got a woman there. So, like I said, if I had my team, we'd be making a double entry. Uh, that's a very, very bad area. Let's go back to lethal. Get yourself shot. Wedges out. Okay. Can't deploy the wedge again? He just took the wedge out. Come on. Seriously? Okay. I don't stand in front of the open funnel door, guys. Use gas it's gas and clear. clear. Here we go. And let's just go in front of the door. Civilian complied. 
tougher. Right on. What's your tangle say? You out of here. Civilian secured. Okay, cool. About the gems. Just get me out of here, please. Don't don't like the fact that uh Talk, this is entry team. Civilian okay. secured and ready to evacuate. Uh roger that. Train uh. standing by. Got a guy there. Corner's clear. So we got that desk there. Might be someone around that. So we're going to bang it. Bang and clear. Here we go. Okay. We're clear. Secure him. Copy. On it. You'll get through this. I swear I thought I was dead. Civilian zipped. Entry team to talk. Okay. Civilian ready to evacuate. Roger. We'll come in when it's clear. All right, falling guys. Stay close. I'll take point. Understood. Okay, so we own all of this. This is that area we don't own. And we have our team here. So our team can actually stay right. Our team is looking right there. So we can clear all this and then meet up with our team. In position. See what's around those corners. Jackson's been hit. Roger what? That. Medical assistance awaiting all Talk, clear. This is entry team. Field what wounded, ready happened? Attack. Copy. Medical assistance standing by. This ain't working. This should say like running in corners. Oh my gosh, I am so pissed off right now. I, I never thought this could Talk. happen. This I mean, all the security, the guards, safe, the cameras, they still came crashing yeah. in here shooting like madmen. I mean, by. it was insane. Talk, this is entry team. Injured civilian ready for evac. Copy. EMT standing by. Sir, it's still clear. Yeah, well, your buddies just got hurt. Oh my gosh. I lost a whole element. Right, because I was going to leave this team up there while we went downstairs and brought them all down together. We still have the whole first floor. Oh. What? What are you guys pointing at? He's taking a runner. Hands in the air! Get down! 
Oh my gosh, they backtracked on us. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a total food bar. Oh my gosh, I am like so frustrated right now. Where did he come from? I totally screwed that one up. I did not. I first of all, I don't know why the AI moved out of the uh, out of the cover when I was making my way into that foyer, and then they got sniped, and then of course frustration kicked in. All right, guys. Well, I gotta head to work. I'm a little frustrated. I may upload this one tonight just so you guys can see it. Uh, yeah. You guys warned me. You told me um, I would be. Um, Frustrated with this one. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, they were they were holding. They should have held. Because I had the other team. Blue team was looking down the stairwell. So they had that. Now I still don't like the fact that they had their back open. But we were working our way around that. To get to that square area. And uh, they were there. Um, the blue team, I was going to have my red team hold with me, but I decided that I got a little cocky because I wanted to take the headshot of the bad guy. I should have not. I should have, uh, well, you can't clear that room with smoke. So it was going to be a very difficult room to, uh, to, to overwhelm. Um, it's probably going to result in a shootout regardless, but I lost two of my operators. So I'm not really happy with that. Um, all right. I'm bummed out. Gotta get ready for work. So maybe we'll uh, try again tomorrow. And maybe by Friday, we'll have a win edition. All right, guys. Take care of yourself. Take care of one another. This is Chris Dikoff. Until next time. Mission 8 FUBAR edition. If you have any suggestions, send them my way. Because I can use all the help on this episode or on this mission. Thanks, guys. All right, so by now you know it was a foo bar, and oh, it, it's so. I guess the frustrating part for me right off the bat is I don't know why I let the game get to me and frustrate me to the point that um, I just kind of like mentally quit and I'm like, ah, forget it. I'm just gonna get killed anyways because you can still win and complete the mission, um, but I didn't. One of you had made a comment that uh, don't do the lean anymore because the uh, there's a, uh, a glitch in the system that automatically puts the uh, bad guys to go ahead and engage and do a headshot. Uh, so I'll be uh, using that information on the next try, which will be in a couple of days. But So let's debrief this. All right. Initial entry. So if this was a real tactical situation... Um, we would utilize a shield on this. Um, the room's just too dang big. Gas is not going to overwhelm the room, nor is a flashbang going to have the uh, effect that we, the desired effect that we're looking for. Now, if we can get multiple flashbangs in, in different corners of the room, that might be an option. And that's, again, some of the things that we take into consideration as we're doing these operations. That's why these operations are fluid and always evolving and moving and tactics can change within seconds now just to get us into that room real situation i would love to put a shield right there in front the entire team on back and we methodically enter that room and cover those corners and using a rifle rated shield we see though in this particular scenario we gas it and our civilian moves he's not where he should have been and he moves into that stairwell Stairwell, we're initial right, right off the bat. We are engaged with a suspect that involves an officer involved shooting, an OIS, and um, we take down the suspect. At about 353 on my mark, you can see I shoot, I engage in the OIS, which I shouldn't have, and I shoot my operator in the back. 
uh, that's things that can possibly really happen and hence the reason why we really don't do that. So um, I don't know why I did that. I guess I just wasn't trusting the AI to uh, engage the suspect uh, properly. Then we see though, my operator standing in front of the funnel, right? Just, hey, I'm gonna stand right here. That's the best thing to do. Now, for those of you watching this, many of you told me, download the mod, download this. Yes, yes, we're going to do that, but we're playing vanilla. We're playing the frustration of vanilla. All right, um, let me see here. First room, we see a suspect that shares, da 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 um, um, Oh, and then, um, we see we are, we're in this particular, I'm still trying to figure out our next move. And then we get another OIS in the stairwell. So obviously we had a suspect that was up the stairs, decided to come and engage our AI officers. Uh, second room, see I put down gas second room, no one in the room, but room has door, used Optiwan to see long hallway. Okay, so yes. So what I ended up doing was that stairwell that was right there, we go into that doorway and we gas it, which we didn't have to, so we wasted a gas canister. But what I like about it is that I was able to get that long view of that hallway to see suspects. I didn't have to put myself in that corner and then have to do a button hook uh, or a crisscross to get into that hallway. And I'd rather do it that way um, tactically. Now, sometimes we are not afforded those opportunities. And we finally get ourselves into that hallway. So we own this, we own that first room, we own this stairwell, kind of. I'm not a big fan of that stairwell yet. And then we own that, that office, and then we're gonna now make our way to that first hallway. Um, in that first hallway, we, two, we have two civilians that are down, and we call in TOC to let them know that they're down. And I decide, so then at that point, we have three closed doors. And I decide that I'm going to optiwand them to see what I have. Now, in reality, mm, if I had a good layout like we do, probably in reality we are going to um, do the rooms one by one and not bypass a room. Now, not to say that we would not do that because with the amount of operators that I have at my disposal, we could put two people on each door and still move an element into that last room like I finally did where we um, we engaged the suspect. I think that's the one where I threw the flashbang and I looked into the flashbang again, but we had suspect, we were able to get a suspect detained. And let me see here, yeah, we do the flashbang in custody. Um, in that second room where we do go, we use gas. And so we, we, we look at we, that last room. Let's go back to the last room. We use Opto One. We see we have armed suspect. He has a, he has a uh, rifle and he has body armor. So we decide that uh, the game usually allows gas to work on these people. I understand their subsequent missions where they're wearing masks and not so much anymore. Uh, we'll probably have to switch to sting balls or flashbangs at that point in time. But we flood the room. We successfully take them in, and now we're gonna make sec entry into that second room. Uh, now, in the hallway, I have my notes. Second hallway, suspect comes out, OIS. That will see in the hallway, that suspect comes out, he engages us, I get into a shooting with him, and he goes down. Um, this, this particular mission, man, it's like I was previous missions it seemed like everybody hunkered down maybe a couple people ran into other rooms but this is like one of the first ones where it seems like they're engaging us and i wasn't really prepared for that i was kind of prepared for them hunkering down barricading themselves and waiting for us to come to them i wasn't ready for them to come to me and i didn't think the ai did that really and so i was really surprised that that happened um i closed the door for safety i don't know I can't, you know, I was thinking about that and I don't know if I've really ever done that before. Um, but I just closed it for safety because I figure if the AI is going to come at us, there we go. We're going to see the door open and we're going to go ahead and um, engage what we have at that particular time. Uh, so we took a wedge out and I thought that if I took the wedge out, the wedge would be available to me and to utilize again. I just, you guys can hear me. I'm trying to use the wedge a second time. We're still kind of in this hallway and I'm not, I don't have a wedge available to me. So um, for those of you watching, 
Um, are we able to take a wedge and then use it again or one time is one time? Because if that's the case, I got to arm, given the complexity of this particular scenario, um, I decided to next, next, when I choose my equipment next time, it's going to be much different. So I'm definitely going to appreciate those comments. Uh, Dave, we filled, a, filled that room. We filled the next room. Um, and we had found a civilian. And then we finally banged that final room before the square room. And what I mean by that square room, I mean that, that square room where uh, the stair kind of looked like looks down. Um, all right. Yeah, so that's that room. So right before we go into the stair room where we have that, where it goes all the way in, a, you know, where you, that you can walk around, we banged that last room and um, now we own all that. And now we need to um, start moving forward to take that whole upstairs. And at that point in time, I was actually feeling kind of good, but then I got cocky. Kind of like, uh, I don't know why. I don't know why I got cocky. Um, I see a suspect crouch down. I'm crouching down. See his head's popping up. And I decide to take the shot, which causes everything to go to crap at that point in time. Um, they move. I move. And next thing I know, I hear gunfire. I turn back around, and I think all of you saw my expression. I got one operator down. I turn around, and I got a second operator down. I have no idea what happened. I don't even know who shot who. And I start looking for a suspect, and um, I think um, it's my mark. It's a little bit different now since I added the intro, but so add maybe like 2255. We got officers down. And you guys can see it. I'm defeated. I'm done. I'm mentally like, I forget it. I was actually ready just to click off, quit, and then start over again. But that was before I decided that I would be uploading FUBAR missions for your critique and your entertainment. Um, and uh, so that's why I decided to just keep going and see how far I could go with the fact that I only had three people, including myself. Uh, then... I, I don't know where the suspect came from. It, was the suspect in that square? Did the suspect come up from one of the rooms? But we see that a suspect backtracked on me because then I hear my other operators getting into a shooting. And then I see the suspect running from me and I'm trying to hunt them down. And I... You saw. You saw. I, find, I go in the room where that first armed suspect was and then I get shot in the face and then you guys saw my reaction at that point in time <sighs> tough scenario this is a very tough scenario so I made some notes I made some notes on equipment let me know what you think for my equipment so each operator is going to get a wedge I want to wedge the crap out of every door I can especially if I cannot reuse wedges let me know and I'm going to take a sting ball for a couple of areas because I think we're going to eventually, if I can make it down to the vault, which I haven't been able to do yet, um, I think I'm going to need a sting ball. I do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to overwhelm it with gas. And I think, obviously... Uh, one of you caught the mistake I made. I thought I went full metal jacket with all my rifles. I did not. Given the fact that they're armed, we're going to go full metal jacket. For one of you, you asked kind of me to explain. Full metal jacket is a round that will essentially go through stuff. It maintains its integrity. So it's designed to penetrate. And it's designed to penetrate through multiple things. So given an example of a bulletproof vest that full metal jacket's designed to go through that vest and then through the person and depending on the range depending on the grain um and a few other elements of that bullet and we'll definitely talk about that later on um you can even go through the person we do have rounds that flatten and uh drywall will stop it so they don't go through drywall 
Uh, these are different things that are available to us as uh, not just SWAT operators, but as police officers. And I'll definitely explain that a little bit more. I didn't make any real big notes about that um, to talk about the different things, but I kind of want to take a look at the game, see what's available to us, and kind of explain those elements in the game for those of you that have been asking those questions in the comments, which I always appreciate. It's Friday, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to have a chance to get to uh, play this mission again hoping that hoping by sunday i'll be able to sit down and try another round of this and uh maybe get a win or at least get closer to a win but leave some comments let me know what you think i had a great time uh, with this one i thought i was gonna really get a win i i almost could taste it ah all right ladies and gentlemen thanks for watching thanks for your support Take care of yourself. Take care of one another. Until next time, this is Chris the Cop. Take care.